In this video, I'm going to attempt to convince you to read John Dies at the End by David Wong. Jason Pardon. No, David Wong in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> You have likely heard of this book. It is wildly popular. They even made a movie based off of this book. I'm going to poorly compare this book to Napoleon Dynamite in The Office, meaning that sometimes the first go around is not going to hit you right. It really takes a second read through to really understand and appreciate everything that goes on in this book. There is so much to this book. If you don't know anything about this book, this follows our two main characters. They are best friends, Dave and John. These two characters are wildly different. On the surface, they're idiots. But there's so much more to these characters than just that. And again, I feel like these characters are severely underappreciated. This book in general is severely underappreciated simply because the readers probably aren't going to get it on the first go around. If you've picked up this book in the past and it wasn't quite hitting you the right way, if you found the humor kind of dorky and stupid, I get it. If you're having DNF-like feelings, please push through. I say that because I had DNF-like feelings initially. For the first 80 pages, I was not bought in. I was not bought into the characters. I was definitely not bought into the humor. I really wasn't feeling it. A lot of the humor gave me very eye roll moments. I was just not into it. I didn't appreciate it. Move past it. Ignore the things that you're not liking about it because the humor is for a very specific type of reader. It's boy humor. There are many crude jokes in here. A lot of them didn't land for me. Some of them are funny. I will admit that. Some of them are very, very funny and well done. Most of them, I just rolled my eyes and I moved on. Our two main characters, Dave and John, they encounter a drug known as the soy sauce or what they deem as the soy sauce. Now this drug, the soy sauce, allows them into pretty much like a different dimension. Once they encounter this drug, pretty much everything just goes downhill from there. It's a pretty wild journey. It is spooky, it's weird, it's comical most of the time, not all the time. There is so much foreshadowing in this book, but you're probably going to miss it on your first read through. It really takes that second read through to really appreciate everything that Jason Pargin is setting up in this book. David Wong is not your typical hero. He's not courageous. He's only sometimes funny. He's mostly a self-absorbed idiot, but you know what? You can't help but just follow him along for this journey. And you just desperately wanna find out what happens to him and John in the end. There are so many scenes that gave me full body chills. There were a couple occasions where I was walking my dog after nightfall. I was so creeped out. I don't get creeped out very easily. I've read Stephen King. I've read some horror novels, but this one was done very, very well. Now I encourage you to do this. When you go into this book, please go into it with an open mind and don't look at the negative reviews on Goodreads. Please don't do it. It's already gonna put you in a negative mindset. There are a lot of people that adore this book. There are also a lot of people that do not appreciate this book. If you're finding the humor to be very dumb, you're not alone. It's okay. Ignore it, move beyond it. Just chalk it up to these boys just being dumb boys because at the end of the day, that's what they are. But again, there's so much more to these characters than what meets the eye. Now, once you push past that initial adjustment phase, because this book requires an adjustment for sure, try not to go into this book with any expectations because it will probably throw you for a loop. And I don't want you to feel disappointed because it's not entirely what you expect. Nothing could have prepared me for this book. This is so different. It's wildly different. And I can't compare it honestly to anybody else. Jason Pargin, he is an author on a whole nother plane in another dimension, if you will, because this is just, I can't even compare it to anything else. I've read horror novels and honestly, I don't even know how to classify this. I guess you can classify it as a satirical cosmic horror. I really enjoyed it. If you are new to that genre, please go in with an open mind, go in with no expectations, because I promise if you read this book and you really think about some of the things that are going on in here, I think you're going to appreciate it. Now I finished this book and I'm so excited to dive into the sequels. The next one is this book is full of spiders. I hear that this is everybody's favorite. So I'm really, really excited to dive in, but there's also I'm actually missing one of the books in the series. I believe there's four and with a fifth coming out sometime soon-ish. I also have, if this book exists, you're in the wrong universe. So I'm missing one and I don't know what the other one is called, but I will be getting it. I cannot wait to find out what happens to David next. It's weird, it's different, it's fun, it's comical at times. There's a little bit of romance in here. I definitely wouldn't classify this as a romance, but if you do enjoy romance, there's a little bit in here. 
it's silly, it's strange. There are so many ways that I could describe this book and I don't think I could possibly do it justice. You just have to read it. Now, if you've been thinking about this book and it's been on your mind for a while, I'm gonna drop the link to this book below so you can purchase it on Amazon right away. Take this as a sign that you need to read this book. Now, I would have appreciated this book any time of the year. It was very fortuitous that I happened to read this in September and into October. Again, it was the perfect spooky read. I loved it. It was perfect for fall, perfect for Halloween. If you're looking for spooky vibes, this is gonna do it for you. I highly enjoy this book. I highly recommend it. Jason Pargin is very purposeful in what he's saying. A lot of moments can easily be dismissed as, oh, that's just silly, that's just stupid. Mm. If you think about it, there might be more than what meets the eye. A lot of moments that you can chalk up to just being silly and outlandish, they might have a very relevant meaning for something that happens later on in the book. Jason Pargin is a master of subtlety. He is so subtle that most readers are probably going to miss what he's trying to tell you. Now, one thing that I absolutely love about this book is Jason Pargin is not going to tell you, he is going to show you, and he's gonna show you in such a subtle way that, again, you're probably going to miss it. If you were to reread it, I guarantee you're gonna pick up on a lot of those things. But he very much doesn't say, Dave is this, John is that. He's going to show you through the actions of these characters. And it's so fun. I think it's very easy to pick up on David's character on the surface level. You know, all the ugly things about his character, those are very easy to identify. But there's so much more to his character, and especially John's, that you're going to miss initially, but pay attention and you'll pick up on it on a reread. Or if you're just a smarter reader than me, maybe you'll pick up on it on the first read through. I don't know. I missed a lot initially. I had to think about this a lot, but this is such a fun story and I hear the series just gets better and better. I hear that again, this is everyone's favorite. I really cannot wait to start reading this. I hear that the writing improves, which I thought the writing was fine in here. I didn't really have any complaints. I thought it was perfectly acceptable, but I hear that he just improves in overall style, writing, storytelling. So super excited. I will admit I've already read the first page of this. I'm already hooked. I have to know what a captivating beginning to this book. I will say this about this book too. The very first page that had me hooked. I couldn't stop reading. It's very funny. It's thought provoking in a very strange and odd way, but Man, I just enjoyed this so much. I'm not the target reader for this book, but I still highly, highly enjoyed it. This is easy to enjoy just on the surface level, but I do encourage you to think about it. Think about some of the things that are happening and really let that marinate throughout your reading journey. I think that you're going to like this one. If you have read this book, I wanna hear about your experiences. I really do. Whether you loved it or hated it, please tell me more. I wanna to talk to folks who have read this book. I wanna know if I've convinced you in any way to read this book. If I have, please report back. I would love to know your thoughts. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on bookish content. Heavy on David Wong slash Jason Pargin content because at this point, let's just call it what it is. I'm obsessed. So I have to know what happens next. I want other readers to dive into the world of David Wong. There is nothing like this book. This is truly one of a kind. So much respect for Jason Pargin, truly. And Jason Pargin, I'm so sorry that you were underappreciated because I see the comments on Goodreads. Readers who are watching this video, please don't go down the rabbit hole of Goodreads. Please don't do it. I did. And so I already went into this book with certain expectations and I really did myself a disservice, especially initially, but I worked past it and I'm so glad I did. For you readers who enjoy cosmic horror, who enjoy humor, these are absolutely for you. Don't let anybody scare you away from these books. I had such a fun time with John Dies at the end. I can't wait to read this book as full of spiders and you better believe I will be doing another video on this one. I've heard so many amazing things about this one. I've actually been encouraged to read this one first, but I just couldn't, I couldn't. I really do think I needed the foundation of this one so that way I can go into this one knowing what I need to know because there is something critical very, very critical that happens in this book. And I can't imagine trying to experience this one without knowing the thing that I'm referring to about this book. If you've stuck with me this far, thank you so much. I hope I've convinced you to read this book. If I have, go purchase the book immediately. I've placed the Amazon link to this book in the description below. Go ahead, buy yourself a copy. Just call it a Halloween present to yourself or a Christmas present, birthday present, whatever. Find an excuse to buy yourself this book. I promise it's worth it. And I would love for you to experience the world of David Wong. And we'll catch you on the flip side.